That's a lot of happiness right there. That is. Definitely. Now, I'm curious. So there's 53 blaze rods. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what this is going to be once we're done with this batch. Hello, everybody. Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 6. This is episode 15, and I am coming to you from my newly built Nether Portal Garden. So this is what I ended up making in the last episode, and this came out really great. I really love the way this turned out. Now, for today's episode, what we're going to do is meet up with Eladrium once again, because before we talked about doing a blaze farm. So in this episode, that is what we're going to do. And why do I hear a phantom? Oh, hello, buddy. Oh, I guess it's raining. Oh, there's two phantoms. One stuck in the tree. Come here. Meh. Oh, it's nighttime? I guess. Okay. Thank you to whoever just slept. I was not aware. I thought it was just raining. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're we're good. They're not going to get to me now. Uh, what was I saying? We are going to meet up with Eladrium because today we are going to work on the Blaze Farm. Hey there, Rogue. Hey, what's up, Eladrium? Hey, so uh, I heard that we're going to be making a Blaze Farm today because we want stuff we want to sell, right? Oh, yeah. We got stuff we want to sell, and there's XP to have, so... There is XP to have. I mean, have you... Look look at this. Have you seen this pickaxe? This pickaxe is in dire need of repair. Please oh. come back. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just ran off with it. Uh, yes, definitely. Yeah, uh... like, okay, there's my pickaxe. That was a mistake. <laughs> right. This oh. was a trust exercise. You just passed. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I have seen... I don't know if you've seen this over here, but someone is selling blaze rods on the server already. Which uh, kind of cuts into our plan a little bit, but yeah. I still think that we can sell maybe like copper bulbs or anything that uses uh, blaze rods. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I I agree. I did see this come up. And I was a little bummed because we were just talking about last time that we didn't see a shop like this, but here it is. But with the blaze rods, yeah, we can make the copper bulbs. Just need some redstone and some copper. That's right, and I have plenty of redstone. And hey, don't don't you worry. If some for some reason we need more blaze rods, we'll just steal it all from that shop. Okay, <laughs> that's our backup plan for the night. There we'll we just go. Steal everything from his shop, and then plop another shop on the other side of it and claim it's ours. Yep, sounds like a plan. Right. <laughs> so uh, before we go over there, I wanted to show you how we're using structure, or at least how I'm using it. Um, you do you have the pack I sent over installed? I I do not. Should I go ahead and do that? Okay. So, uh, I've, for some reason, I've unofficially become the Structura advocate here on the server, and I don't know why, but it's very useful when you're building stuff together. So you sent me over your farm design for a blaze farm, and I exported it into Structura. And let me just kind of show you how this works, and this way we'll test to see if your pack is working. Okay. So I'm going to build up here because um, I'm dumb, and I, I set it off of a wrong axis. So uh, if I place this down here... You should... Oh, wow. That, that's actually up there. Never mind. Hold on. I don't need to be this high. <laughs> Sorry. Trick. If I place this down right here, you should see, like, a bunch of ghost blocks appear. Yes, I do. That's amazing. Yeah. So, this is really super-duper convenient because... Uh, I think, actually, this is the one that... No, no, yeah, yeah this, this is it. This is super convenient because all we need to do is find the spot where this aligns with the spawner. And once that's lined up, then we know where every block needs to be placed. And then we can just place blocks there. And then when you place, like, a solid block here, this ghost block here becomes solid-looking. Um, so it's really kind of super duper convenient. And since we need to make two, um, I figured this could be a very, very easy way for us to kind of tag team together on this and, and get everything up and running yeah yeah that will definitely that's definitely a time saver because i was i haven't done a group project like this but i was kind of concerned about like coordinating where we're placing the blocks and who is doing what but this is perfect we just put yeah, you don't there. need to coordinate anything you just got to place a block down and and there we go I like it. So um, let's uh, let's go over to our secret spot in the nether that we have not shown the coordinates are for. No, no, no. No one's seen the coordinates for it yet before. And um, <laughs> sorry, I'm being facetious. And then uh, we'll get we'll get building, okay? All right. Sounds good. And we said it's on the green tunnel. Yeah. Yep. And then I don't know if you've been down here lately, but I dug that tunnel out. So once we come out to the first nether fortress, we can just run down the tunnel. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because, you know, it's me, and I, I like to stay undercover. 
I like safeness. Although this is like ceased to be safe in any capacity down here. <laughs> oh yeah, I just flew over. Oh, I missed the tunnel. Dang it. Oh, there it is. There it is. We just need to make it spawn safe. Lots of nasty monsters there. Oh yeah, especially. Oh jeez, no way. Okay. Oh man. You just uh, see the a gas with its tentacles down there, trying to give you a car wash. Yeah, uh, gas, and then piglins spawn right in the opening too. So I had the gas right above the entrance, and then the piglins right in the entrance. Lovely, lovely. Yeah. All right, uh, show the way through your tunnel. I'll close this up behind us. All right. And I know that you want to live very, very badly, so I am well stocked on totems too, in case we have any unforeseen incidents. <laughs> I appreciate it. And I do have one in my hand. Yeah, this is uh, kind of like the wither fight. It's the not fun way to get there, but, you know, it's the safe way. Is the safe way. Well, kind of. It's only kind of safe because there's not slabs down. You can still be in trouble down here. True. But I did keep it too high at least, so, you know, no gas, no big magma cubes spawning in. True, true, true. Look at you with scaffolding all fancy like. Oh yeah, this is how I roll. And I even have a little little ceiling for us too. Oh wow. Oh okay, I know where we are now. Nice. Yeah. Alright, let me get rid of that skeleton there. And I, and I, I need to eat. Hey, look at that. The blaze farm's working just fine. Great job, Rogue. <laughs> oh right. Let's call it a night. Yep, night. Okay, great. <laughs> <We're all now. laughs> Okay, so, um, if we have that pack installed, all we need to do... Yikes. Oh, yikes. Apparently, when that happens, the, uh, the farm also catches on fire. That's lovely. So, all we need to do is get this kind of, like, aligned. And okay. basically, once we have it aligned, um, it'll just kind of show us where we need to go. So, uh, it's, it's up here, right? There's another one up here? Yes. I wasn't sure okay, this is the one we were starting with, or... Ow. Let's start with this one, because everything's trying to kill us up here. Yeah. I know this one's still exposed, too, so I don't know if we need to block this one up. Yeah, let's let's block it up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Yeah, let, let's, uh, let, let's go upstairs and block this up real quick. <laughs> Agreed. Before we have another accident. Oh my goodness, Rogue, there's like six blazes uh -oh, up here. I see it. Oh, wow. Uh, I do not have oh. any four, okay. any blocks work like that. That one down there isn't spawning, so I assume okay. so. It did oh. work. I thought it was yeah. I was like I thought it was the light at first. The um, what do you call it? Glowstone? Yeah. Maybe the glowstone here. We'll just do bam, 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 bam. There, there. Now everything's safe. Now everything's <laughs> safe. All right, so we just need to get this positioned so that this is lined up with where the spawner is. Yeah, so it looks like it needs to go down and over. Oh, no. Things did not, did that just spawn again, really? It did, yes. Do we need more torches? I am not sure. You know what? Um, I have an ender chest. I'm going to place it right next to our anchor. I know I have some in my redstone box. Let's try that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and I will dig out here, and hopefully this is low enough. If it's not low enough... Oh! You good? Oh, oh there's a skeleton that spawned. Oh. Like right on the outside? Not right on the ledge. Uh, we need to probably do something about that ledge. And the other ledge on the... Oh, yeah. I don't like... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right here. Bad thing spawned. Uh, torches should do, yeah? I would assume so. Let me get the other side. I can reach it. I'm very glad that I did not put my armor on yet. Basically, I need your help to tell me when we've got this aligned. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know how it would work, but... Oh, um, I don't we want to go one, two, three, four, five to the left, and then uh, which which way which way are we calling left? 
uh, towards me. If you're, are okay. you still across the way? So. Oh, yes. That, uh, this is more left. Uh, yes. Okay. And then how far back? Ooh, um, almost there. Okay, so that should be right, right there. Right. Um. Y <laughs> yes, this looks correct. Let me. Let me just look. Take a peek in here. Uh, yeah. The. Oh, down one. Sorry, down one. Ow. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is super unsafe. Yeah, if it goes down one more block, we are gold. Okay, sorry, just uh, one second here. <clears throat> it is very unsafe over here. Yes. I know typically when I've built blaze farms, I don't like the areas where I'm hanging above lava. It's usually the the ones that are, you know, buried within the netherrack. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's right, right? Uh, that is correct, yes. Looks like we need to clear out some stuff. Yes. And then uh, we can get working. So let me show you how I had this planned. Basically what I have is I have a portal right here. And then, oh wow, I missed a block. That could have been very, very bad. <laughs> and then back here, I have lava. And the lava should flow all the way over to the portal. Okay. Which will push all the mobs over. And then if this is our center hole right here where you're gonna place the coral, right? Yes. Ish. Yeah. The mobs will fall down here, they'll get pushed in, and then I have two pistons that I'm gonna place right here that basically just punch them into the here when they fall down. Okay, I like so, that. So, it should be very, very simple. Just need to uh, make a quick clock here real quick. All right. Get out of the way, my guys. Should be able to. Um, did you throw me two lava buckets? Uh, I got one more, you need it. Right there. Yeah, you have one more. Oops. And that lava should flow all the way up to the portal. Yep. And uh, then this should be good. This is the fun part. Um, so, let's see. Because the blaze spawner needs to be exposed first, and then the lava needs to go down. Unless you're feeling adventurous and we put in the lava, and then you want to try to bridge over the lava and then break the, the blocks around the spawner <laughs> yeah i'm feeling adventurous i'm you feeling are. yeah with the hole that goes down into lava as well and into another portal to who knows where well i need to go <laughs> to another portal anyway because i got to set up the spawn on the other side yep oh this so... place is coming right for us it looks like gotcha um i'm brave I'm brave. You are. I'm sure you'll end up at a nice cave. Watch it be an ancient city. Nah, that should be the surface. It is the surface. Oh, cool. Oh, I forget we're at 60 level uh, Y61. Yeah, this is this is nice and safe over here. Okay. Um. Oh. I think that I don't need to move this portal because it's not going to be aligned with any one particular portal if we're making two of these. So, we should be safe. Oh, oh looks like there's another one oh, too. No. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I did not have rockets in my hotbar. <laughs> oh. That's a, that was a good save. Bro, you're, you make me do dangerous things, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't tell you to do anything. <laughs> I can I can play back the footage. It, who was the one who said, I'm feeling adventurous? <laughs> oh, ow. He's right there. There we go. All right. They're just spawning over there like crazy. All right, yeah, what's up with wanna... that? I don't know. But this one's safe. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Right. That do you want to pop the um, the lava in? Yes, I can do that. Uh, one, two, three. Let me get one more bucket. Right, we're here on the Truman Show here with Rogue Fox. He's gonna try to escape his near death. Oh, uh, also the coral fans. Make sure you get those in first. Oh, yes, thank you. Hey, 
Okay, those are in place. Let me put those back. All right. I've done this before. Let's just see how fast Rogue Fox can be. Yes. So they don't call him a fox for nothing. <laughs> but here's the plan. I'm going to be okay with losing this scaffolding. You're going to break the blocks first? I am. Okay. And then I'm going to run around like a chicken with my head cut off. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I need glass on top. Oh no. Um so let leave a leave a space above it. So solid block then glass cuz that'll give us an extra spawn. Solid here, block. Glass. So yeah, so that that Oh. There's two blocks there. There yeah, are. So yes. if you have that, that will spawn uh in the top too. Oh, okay. So we want it like this? Yep. Okay. And, uh, okay, knock on wood here. This is going way better than expected. It also helps that you're covering me. <laughs> so, let's see. The best way to do this is back corners, yeah. Uh, got the glass ready, okay. Uh, uh. Nice. Yes. Nailed it. Went a lot smoother than the last time I did it. <laughs> Perfect. Ow. Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. What's up, buddy? Just a skeleton. These guys should. I, I don't know. Now they're stuck. What? They should just fall yep, down. There they go. Yeah, there, there you go. They should just fall down in there. And then if you come down here, you should just see them as they fall down. They'll get pushed into the nether. The, the, the portal and then they will um be on the other side now we do have a slight problem um we haven't made the other side portal set up so it's safe oh so i guess <laughs> we should have done that first huh we might should have done that first so we might have uh -oh. a fun adventure when we um when we come back oh no it's okay too oh that's not okay yeah so as they fall down once they get out of range in that, they should just kind of fall down there. And we're going to have to deal with them all on the other side. I uh, see it. I imagine you took care of all the blaze? <laughs> no, uh, there are no blaze over here, which has me separately worried. Oh. Um, they might have they might have despawned, though. Oh, because we're so far away, possibly. We're so far away. Yeah, we flew in. Okay, so here's what I figure. The blaze come through here. They fall down. We have like a little spot right here where we have a sword and then just slash, 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 slash. No more blazes. Okay. What do you think? So you said they come through and then we just slash away and then no blazes. No blazes. And then if like, right, like here-ish, if we have like a slab, I don't know. And all of our blocks are in the nether, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. And my inner chest is too. So we should just be able to like stand right here and then smack away. Yeah. Smack away at their feet. Shall we go test this then? Um, you want me to go back over there to the to the blaze farm, and then you can come over here and just wait for them to come through. They should just pop through, and you can get them if you just want to check that this works. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. There's just uh, two that went through. Three that went through. I see him. And they aren't escaping, doing anything crazy? Nope, they're just hanging out in the portal right now. Kind of waiting for them to make their way down. There they go. Just trying to get pushed. There we go. It is working. Yep. Oh, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. It's just, uh, we don't have any hoppers in place. <laughs> Let me, uh, place some hoppers down. Wow. It's like day one mining all over again. We don't have <laughs> anything. Right, this oh, is the wrong um, time to mention I had a shovel. 
Yes, yes, <laughs> it is. It really, really is. Does that open like that? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Probably the easiest to do. Great, now if you swing your axe at me, I'll die. You can collect all my stuff. No, please don't do that. Depending on what we want to mend with, um, I know I'll throw, like, in the back and on the walls, I'll throw obsidian down here also, just so if I'm trying to swing with my pickaxe to repair it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, um, I can do that real quick. I have obsidian on me. This would be a great time to mention you have a shovel. And Oops. then right here and okay. here. The yeah. And right there. Yep. Yeah, that way when we swing pickaxes, we're not... Like, I already swung a shovel on accident and broke the, the dirt block. Oh, got it, yeah. And then we could probably bring, like, a regen beacon over here, too. Just, um, we decide to AFK at all. The old ways that, that used to work, and I, I hope they didn't change it, is that you would gather all your mobs on one side, go to a portal on the other side, throw an, uh, an ender pearl over, and then you could come over and interact with all of them without them despawning. And if... That isn't working for us. You know, we can always just pop in the uh, Trident Killers below. What do you think about... So, we have the Blaze spawners, and we have that one section where we run past the bottom one and up the stairs to the bridge to the second spawner before we go up. What if we... That should be far enough away, because, like I said, I believe it's every one block in the nether's eight blocks here. Would that be enough mm -hmm. distance to pop us out Closer than the portal we came through, but still be within range. Is we my thought. We have to align chunk of, uh, all the portals. I think. Yeah, align yeah. the portals. That's right. Um, Which I guess the only thing I would throw that off would be these portals. If this isn't aligned. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, here let's uh, let's try it real quick. So yeah, it's only ten blocks back on the X, but still gonna be two hundred back on the Z. And we don't have to get it now. Um, we can always fine-tune it. It was just an idea. But yeah, I, I, as long as that second portal doesn't link up to it, we should be good. Like, if we flow the portal basically backwards to it... Here, let me just let me build the portal real quick. Yes, I build my portals three wide. So do I. It's the only way to do it. Prettier this way. Exactly. Okay, I'll leave the corners in too. So in theory, this should connect us to the portal I just made. Fingers crossed. I did put a back on it. Good. <laughs> and it does. Nice. Yep, so that's safe. I'll just give it a couple goes. So it should be like, uh, I guess you can't see me throw it, but between these two acacia trees, mm -hmm. right on top of the hill, if you just kind of aim. I'm bad at throwing these. Let's find out. I'm probably going to go on top of the hill. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to make it quite as far as we want. Okay, dang it. Yeah, Maybe, but uh, if we come to the, higher. Yeah, if we come to the top of the hill, you can see it down the hill. Okay. And they did spawn. They are here. Sweet. So that did work. So it would be possible then for me to try to do this myself. Yes. Sweet. I think the trick is just make sure you have ender pearls and that you throw them far enough away that you don't break the wherever they <laughs> spawn at. Yeah, I'm just not landing uh, right up the hill from where we came in like I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I think that would be fine. I think from that top of the hill is actually okay, because that's where I threw mine. Okay. I'm going to aim a little bit higher this time. That looks good. Do what my son says. You got to yeet it. <laughs> uh, Yep, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they're coming through. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, so that's how you can do it with... Uh... Without, um, second cap. Nice. Yeah, so it just looks like I will have to make sure my arc is correct. And now I need ender pearls. Okay, we have the second cell in place. And all we need to do now is you're going to keep me covered. And I'm going to hop in. I'm going to break these and do the same thing as last time. And knock on wood, it goes just as smoothly. Let's see. 
I don't have any wood to knock on, and that's a really dangerous thing to have in the nether, so. <laughs> that's fair. Uh, let's see. I should probably get my... Uh, let's see. I did scaffolding. Okay. I think I can actually break this from over here if you'd like a part of it. Uh, sure. It's the worst that could happen, right? Oh, just immediately spawns. Got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Where'd you go? Okay, oh. Get him. Thank you. Oh, you him. There you go. All right. So, here we go. Lava. XP. Lava. Lava. I hear him. Whoa. Did that one not go it's down? Mini, mini spawn. Mini oh. spawn right away. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, this would have been bad trying to do this uh so low. Okay. Boom. And I need one piece of glass to top it off here at the top. Okay. It might be beneficial to cap this one if our AFK spot's gonna be higher. That is yep, because I'm watching this one rise. That's very true. That's a lot of blazes down there. That's one, two, three, that's six. That's a nice spawn. Oh yeah. And then we have these guys over here too coming oh. down. Oh, I wonder if, like, we could just AFK right here. I was just thinking that. We would just, uh, you know, need a a wall. Yeah, they're spawning there. I don't see them spawning. Oh, yeah, I see that. I don't see a spawning. There you go. We could just have an AFK spot right here. Yeah, I think so. This might actually be better. Yeah. Yeah, we just put it in. We can watch both farms. Oh, look at this top one. That's nice. They eventually just flow in there and... I wonder... I'll... Maybe I'll gather the courage, but what I think I can do... I don't think... They, they're they tech... This one's looking at me, it looks like it. But I wonder if I try to come through, once we have it blocked off, uh, put down some... At least where our AFK spot's going to be, put down some tinted glass. I don't think they'll see yeah, us through that, right? They should not be able to see us. Yeah, because this one keeps coming up like, hey, I see you guys. It should have no line of sight on us now. Oh, yeah. All right, well, uh, we did it. Yeah. A nice, lovely two blaze farm. And uh, as soon as we get ender pearls, not plenty. Uh, now, maybe the one thing to be careful about with portals like this is that's a lot of mobs that are going to appear on the other side. And they may explode out of the portal. And if there's too many of them, they may explode outside the portal. Gotcha. So just don't like AFK for like two hours and be like, okay, now I'm gonna go get them. <laughs> uh, you'll you'll have a very, very exciting time. How does oh, it look? Love this, Rogue. You're gonna love this. Ooh, nice. That's that's a lot of happiness right there. That is, definitely. Now, I'm curious. So there's 53 blaze rods. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what this is gonna be once we're done with this batch. Probably a lot. Let's find out. Okay. It looked like the if there's XP still falling down into the hoppers, but I'm not sure. Let me see. Oh, did a bunch of XP just come through? Um, maybe. Yeah, so we could probably break... Oh, just a little bit. Oh, oh that was a lot of XP. My pickaxe was totally broken and now it's fully repaired. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that was a lot. All right, so we had 53, you said? We had 53 blaze rods. We now have um, five, almost six stacks. So yeah. we got almost five stacks from that. That's not too bad, Rogue. There we go. Six stacks and three. <laughs> six stacks and three. That's not bad at all. No. That's from that For one. Like, how long we were there? Like 10 minutes? Maybe if that, huh? I, yeah. That's really good. I think that's good. I think so. I've never made a functional blaze farm before, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's been an experience. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I would say this is a very good drop rate. It definitely helps having that second spawner, for sure. I have enjoyed building this crazy farm with you. I Probably have... more complicated than it needs to be, but I think it's worked out. Yes, it came together nicely. I'm going to go now, because it's actually... I know it's sunny right now, but it's late. So, uh, bro, this has been awesome. Yes. This has been awesome. Really, thank you. Yes, and thank you. I know, once again, you kind of did a lot of the, the work, mainly the dangerous work, 
but yes, <laughs> so thank you for doing that. I'm, I'm happy to do dangerous stuff for you anytime that you want, so just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right, uh, good. I'm going to grab my shulkers, and then I'm going to fly away, and I'll see you later. All right. Bye, Rogue. See ya. And with that, the Blaze Farm is done, or should I say double Blaze Farm, and we stayed up very late working on that. But we did add one more thing before we logged off for the night, and that is this set of pistons right here. So I don't think I showed it because I had to try to trim this episode down as much as possible while still keeping all the good stuff in. We, uh, we were at this for a few hours, so you can imagine there was a lot of footage to go through. But while Eladrian was killing off the blaze, I did notice that the blaze were starting to rise up all the way to the top. They had like a little stack going, stack of blaze, if you can imagine, just like that. And then I kind of thought it was a good idea that we add a little cap. So we have the zombie piglin right here. And if this was a blaze, they'd all come through. So in this case, I personally would be doing this solo. So I'd push all the blaze through, come through the portal, ender pearl over, have all the blaze here. And then I would just flip this lever. That will put a roof above their head. That way I can just swing away, take them all out, and not have to worry about them going up in the air they'll all be stuck right there so that is the last thing that we added and this thing is complete i can't wait to start using this and with that this is where i'm going to end the episode so with that being said everyone this is going to be the end of today's episode i really hope you all enjoyed this has been rogue fox and i will see you later